Hi, welcome to today's video. We are going to do another product review on another foundation. So stay tuned. Before we get started with today's video, just a couple things. First of all, this is Simply Sophisticated Over 50, and my name is Mimi. I wanted to welcome you if this is your first time to my channel. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to be here and view the video. So before we get started, I did have a couple of requests from some viewers from a previous video that I did a product review on the Physician's Formula CC Cream. It's a super CC cream. They wanted me to let them know if I liked it, how it wore through the day, and what my impressions were. Now, this is a cream CC cream. So a couple of things that I really do like about this CC cream, I'm actually wearing it more than I thought I would because what I love about it is the ease of application. As I pointed out before in the back part of this, it does have, it's got a mirror, but it does have a sponge applicator. What I love about this is sometimes I just get so busy and I'm in such a hurry and I just want to throw something on my face before I run out the door. So this has become kind of my everyday foundation lately because I just get the sponge damp, throw it on, I'm good to go, throw on a little blush, and I'm done. And I do put a little bit of powder on, but I've got it on today. I did put it on this morning and I wanted to kind of show you this is what it looks like after wearing it, oh, probably about three hours. So it is a good foundation. It is really good, but I found one that is all the hype and I'm really, really excited to try it today. I'm literally opening this up for the first time today. So this is Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation. This is a baked foundation. I'm really excited about this. Like I said, this is all the hype. A lot of people are raving about this. And they said it just really makes your skin look smooth. And it's not cakey and it's not heavy. And it's good for mature skin. So I'm going to try it. I wanted to read to you what it says on the box, on the description. So what this says is basically that it is weightless formula baked for 24 hours and hand finished in Italy. I like that already. Giving you the easy application of a powder with the benefits of a cream. It says you apply it with a kabuki brush and for fuller coverage, use a denser brush and apply with a in a patting motion. So they actually tell you how to apply it to get better results, to get more coverage. And I'm excited about that because it's going to give me a couple of different options if I want lighter coverage or if I want more coverage. So I'm going to go take off what I've got on now and come back and try this one. Okay, I'm back. When you're trying on a new foundation, you want to make sure that you've got your primer on or your moisturizer on or whatever you usually have on your skin. And obviously you might need to adjust things. Like if it's a matte foundation that you're trying on, you don't want to put an illuminating primer on your skin and contradict and counteract what you're trying to do and try the look you're trying to, to evaluate. I have a couple of different kabuki brushes that I'm going to use. I thought I had a thicker one but it, I think it's in my suitcase still. So I'm going to just use what I've got. Oh, so this is very pretty. Laura Geller Baked Brighten and Balance. And the shade I got was medium. This is the medium. So I know they do have one that is more of a matte foundation. And I'll probably like to try that one next. So I have this little kabuki brush that is very soft and not real big. So that one, and then I also have the BS Small, one of my, this is more of a, it's a flat facial brush, but it's more like a kabuki. So I'm going to actually start with this one and see how it looks. So let's get started. I'm really excited. Like I said, let me just kind of put my hair back and get it out of the way. So this is Emacs Design Brush, and I'm just going to Put that right on there and swirl it around. Tap. It's 
So first impression, it does really feel light. So it is really light and I don't feel like it's giving me a lot of coverage. So this is the, this is the side I didn't cover yet. This is the side I did. I do see a difference in my skin. I can tell that it is giving a light coverage. So I'm wondering if I want to do more of a dense brush and do the padding motion that it talked about. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to use my other brush, the BS Mall flat angled facial brush. And they said to kind of do a padding motion. Oh yeah, definitely. More coverage for sure. Okay, so there's that side. And now the other brush. I have some discoloration on my nose and right under my nose, right around my lips. So I'm going to see if this covers it. Wow, it does. <laughs> and it's not cakey. I like that. So this is giving me just light enough coverage where it's smoothing things out, but I don't look like I have a lot of cakey makeup on. Now my forehead, as you can tell, like I have said before, is always shiny. So I'm going to start with this little brush. I'm going to use a powder blush. I have the True Match Super Blendable Blush by L'Oreal that is in Apricot Kiss. Okay, so let's see how this wears and we'll come back in a little bit. I wanna kinda of go throughout my day. I've got a couple of phone calls I have to make. Like I said, I wanna make sure it doesn't transfer over onto my phone. So I'm gonna try that and I'll be back. Okay, so I made some phone calls. I went outside a couple of times with the dog, got in the sunshine, um, went running around playing ball with the dog and just trying to see how this is gonna wear. And you know what, this actually gives better coverage than I initially thought. So I like this. I think I'm really going to like this because once again, it's easy to apply. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't look cakey. It's not irritating my skin. I might have to use a denser brush to apply it just to get the coverage that I want. So I do notice that. And of course I will need to use a powder blush when I use it as well. I took a couple of pictures trying to see how it would look. And that's really the important thing to do. Take before and after pictures whenever you're trying any new color, any new look, any new foundation, any new skincare, because you want to make sure that you're getting results and the results you want. And that way you can really compare. If you haven't tried this already, give it a try. I really like it. Also, if you want a CC cream that's easy to put on, has great coverage, Physician's Formula CC Cream. So I hope this was helpful for you. This has been such a fun journey trying to find a good foundation. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention for the price point, it was about $28 on Amazon. You can also go directly to the Laura Geller website and you can order it there. But I think for the price, this is a great foundation. 
Well, I'm excited that I found a new foundation that I'm happy with. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on the next video.